Huh, I have quite a few pimples on my face. How to make a reality era universe mode in WWE 2K20. What is the reality era? The reality era is current WWE. This is being made in 2021. Current era in 2027 would be current era. This is what they considered the reality era and I'm pretty sure Triple H said that. So basically that's what it is, it's the current era. I'm gonna show you how to do universe mode properly with current WWE superstars. So the first blatant obvious step is to go into universe mode unless you're not using it hit continue load or new Whichever one you're doing. So here I started a brand new save file Obviously draft the current raw Smackdown and NXT roster. You do not have to do this show if you don't want to I'm just gonna delete it right there after you're done drafting your roster We're going to talk about pay-per-views in a second not everybody uses NXT right here But I do recommend it since it's basically the third brand now if you can, you need to download current roster superstars such as MVP, Austin Theory, Dominic Mysterio, etc. By the time this video comes out, some of these superstars will no longer be current. You know why. Let's talk about pay-per-views for a second. If you want, please feel free to change the order of all of these. You guys don't have to do this part, but what I like to do is literally delete every single pay-per-view and put them on the fourth... Uh, ah, put them on the fourth week of every month. And for NXT, I like to put it up here. You guys don't have to do that and that might make it more confusing for you, but that's just a suggestion. Also, you can go into the pay-per-views and change the amount of matches you want. If you want every pay-per-view to feel huge, by all means, do 14 matches. I still recommend doing seven for everything. NXT, same, seven. Unless it's the biggest pay-per-view ever, then you can do 14. WrestleMania, a lot of you guys like to do two nights. So 14 matches for two nights is actually incredibly long. That's 28 matches. But I'm not stopping you if you want to do it. What I want you to do is go into your options menu. Most of these can be kept on because these are actually good. If you want, you can turn injuries off to create your own injury storyline. I'm gonna keep them on. I recommend turning this completely off unless you're like recording it for YouTube and you kind of want it there. Start creating storylines. What you can do is you can go into my universe and go into rivalries and set up some rivalries for each show if you want to. However, I recommend doing your own thing and doing your own promos. Who are your part-timers gonna be? Are these part-timers full-time in your universe mode specifically. I want you guys to ask yourself some more questions. Who are you trying to push? This guy? I say try to make it somebody unique. So for example, push, I don't know, this guy, even though he's not in the game and he's actually a call. Speaking of which, who are you gonna hire outside of WWE? I picked this guy. I recommend sharpening up your tag team division because obviously a lot of the first in-game tag teams are now outdated. A lot of people kind of overlook this step and they don't look into tag teams that can work. Like for example, if you have two single stars that are not doing anything, put them in a tag team. I just paired up Cole Quinn with Pete Dunne. Now to you, that might not make sense, but in your universe mode, you can make it make sense. A few things I want to note. How big is your roster sizes? I probably wouldn't go over 50 superstars per show, especially in NXT unless NXT is like doing most of the pay-per-views here. All I'm saying is have a good number for each brand. Guess who did not forget to turn off show intro? I want to play this match real quick to see if we can get any cutscenes. Oh, I just remembered how to reverse and I didn't do it properly. I am getting absolutely destroyed by Sasha Banks. There we go, Rhonda. Oh, look at the punches. What? Boom! That was a really nice looking clothesline, I'm not even gonna lie. What a slam! Go for the pin, come on now, you- R really That was a variation of Nick Inspo's finisher and you just kicked out at one. Oh, she just- Whoa. What if I attack the ref? Oh my god! Look at this! Sasha Banks is just standing there like, bro, why did you do that? Oh, okay, and I lost by disqualification. That's good. No cutscenes. Guys, don't forget the most important step about universe mode. Have fun with it. Do whatever you want for the most part. Just have a good time. 2K22 is approaching and I'm sure you'll have an even better time later on.